in that Kimber Walker saying, yeah, that's the dude. He's the difference maker. Because when you get a max deal, eligible for a max deal, it's not, should not be the same as you're going to get a max deal. I'm sorry. And, and when you look around at a, a landscape, and I know it may seem like I'm talking on both sides of my mouth, but I'm not. I don't think we should be talking about people's money. But in the event that the conversation comes up, we can look at it honestly. But I'm just not, well, you know what? You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. I'm just saying, I'm not going to sit up and say somebody is overpaid or underpaid. Because I don't know what they're, when you look at these young men at the Olympics and, and the NBA and, and, and going to the finals and everything, oh, they make $20 million a year. But how much time are they taking away from their families? Boston will see that this season. We'll see what? Help me, help me out, Chief. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, Kimber Walker isn't a difference maker. Okay, thanks, Chief. Thanks for the contribution, bro. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I mean, I see Brother Good Business on behalf of Michael Joy. I ain't going to say I got Trey from the Barbershop Podcast coming on this evening when you see that name. As a matter of fact, I didn't tell you what to do. When you see Miss, go through the uh, uh, chat room, please. When you see the number one Chief Rocker, please hit the, uh, click on this Abby. And Hit follow. When you see the Bomb Shop Talk, Sports Talk, Sports Talk Podcast, please hit the Abby. Hit follow so you'll be alerted to their shows. When you see my main man, DJ Knox, uh, uh, please hit the Abby and hit follow because though this is, this is how you can get a honest assessment of sports and not the packaged sports that we're getting on TV. Because again, Big Illinois is one of my closest friends. We've been very, very good friends for better than 30 years. And we are not agreeing on everything. So how is it that you get five men who don't hang out that much and put them on a television screen and they agree by and large most of the time? Or they, they, they agree uh, uh, by and large. That, that's, that's not realistic. That's not realistic. I'm sorry. You can say what you want to say and frame it the way you want to frame it, but trust and believe you are not going to agree as much as they agree on TV. It's too much agreeing on TV to be realistic. People have, uh, uh, we're like snowflakes. We, we all have our point of view. We see the world the way it is from our perspective. I used to always say that's why the world spins because we are tilting it in our own personal direction. So again, I get it that some players don't deserve a max deal because they're not max players. But when you criticize Michael Jordan for not signing Kimber Walker, no, Kimber Walker is not a max player. I'm sorry. He's not a max player kind of guy. Max players are difference makers. Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Magic Johnson, Anthony Hardaway back in the day, Chris Webber, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant. And today, well, mid, earlier this decade, LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Dwayne Wade, and now Kevin Durant, James Harden, Anthony Davis, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and when when healthy, Embiid and Simmons. Those are max guys to me. These other guys getting these max deals just because you're eligible does not mean you should get a max. And again, Nuggets going to be uh, on fire this season. Shout out to Trey from the Barbershop. I agree. Hey, Trey, the reason I don't have a whole lot of... Uh, Michael Jordan, he only received the max twice his last two years, uh, uh, Chief. On, but see, that's on Mike because Mike tried to do the right thing, which y'all know how I feel about that, taking less money for that championship nonsense. And y'all see that Mamba DeHambo. You see how that Mamba DeHambo is playing out down there in uh, 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 Dallas right now. But back to the NBA. Uh, uh, my man Trey Frazier from the Barbershop Podcast, please hit the uh, – Avi and hit the follow for for me. Do it for me and you'll be entertained as well. Um, uh, I do believe that Nuggets gonna have a good season, but the thing is, one thing about the NBA since I've been watching it, I always seen this: that when you're watching the National Basketball Association and you win a championship, I think every team has to have a go-to guy. The question I have for you and the other people who truly support the Denver Nuggets: who's the go-to guy? Who shoots the ball? When all else fails on Denver, because you got the big fella, a, a, a Joker, he makes the plays. Who hits the shot? And if you don't have the determination of who hits the shot, uh, uh, then uh, damn, 
I'm, just, I'm you're struggling with me. Uh, FYI, no show tonight. We'll be back next week. That's the Bomb Shop uh, podcast. They come on every Tuesday night, and uh, uh, they're on hiatus for the next seven days. Big up to Trey. Thank you. <laughs> You're gonna, if you listen to my show, you're going to get a perspective. If you listen to the number one chief rock and jersey, Vernon Master Glass, you get a uh, perspective. You get the Barbershop Sports Show, uh, 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 Barbershop Sports Talks podcast. They're going to give you a different perspective because that's a two-man team. This is why you need to follow these podcasts, podcasts because every time you tune in, you'll get a different perspective. Different points of view, different information, and you can form your own opinion. Jamal Murray can develop that, dog. I'm not sh- I like Jamal Murray. Big up to Jamal Murray and big up to Trey for the I like Jamal Murray, so. But I don't think being the go to guy is something you develop. Uh, I'm a firm believer in my favorite player in the National Basketball Association, which is James Harden. He's a number two. He's a number two. He can score from any place on the basket. In the mid in the mid range, deep off the dribble, dunk on you. Uh, from what I understand, he's working on the post game. He's working on a new move. But I don't think James Harden is that guy. It's only a few of those guys. And even though you may not be putting up big time numbers, that don't mean you're not that guy. Because AKA Mr. Big Shot, you know, or, 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 i.e. I'm sorry. I.e. Mr. Big Shot Chauncey Billups was never a guy who put up big flyery numbers, but you leave him if you put him in a situation to whereas he's going, you need a big shot to be hit. You better put two people on him and hope Rip and, and my main man Rasheed Wallace have to hit the shot because if you let Big Shot hit, I, I want to know who's the Mr. Big Shot on this on this Denver Nuggets team. I do like Jamal Murray, but I think he may be James Harden 2.0. A very good, but not a go-to. A trap. Don't sleep on the trail places. They had uh, they had uh, two additional players. Shout out to number one Chief Rock Jersey Brown. Oh no, I'm not sleeping on the trail places. Speaking of the Portland Trail Blazers, my main man C.J. McCullough, or one of our competitors in the podcast world, just signed a hundred million dollars. <laughs> Trailblazers that Chief Rocket just picked, uh, just uh, spoke about is uh 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 is my man ha- ha- Hassan Whiteside, and they picked up Clint Basemore. The, the Portland Trailblazers, if they can stop shooting all those damn jumpers and trying to end the day Golden State, I think the Portland Trailblazers could be a force in the NBA. <laughs> Congratulations to Trey from the Barbershop Cousin. He just removed his renew his 10-year wedding anniversary. Congratulations to anybody who can be married and continue to be happy 10 days, 10 minutes, 10 hours, and especially 10 hours. Uh, but like I said, it's it's interest it's gonna be an interesting league. And like I said, I'm tired of this narrative of Anthony Davis and LeBron. Look. Call me. I know y'all think I'm a LeBron James apologist, and I, I, you know what? I even wear that hat. But it's just awful strange that Paul George ain't getting no smoke, but Anthony Davis is. Anytime somebody else does something that is in conjunction with LeBron James, they get a whole lot of smoke. Call me an apologist, but I'm just looking out for the young dude because ESPN gets their money, Fox gets their money, Skip Bayless gets gets. He's become a multi-millionaire because they bash this dude. And I don't give a damn what you say. There's nothing in this world that's going to convince me that it's not at all our media assault on LeBron James because LeBron James, in essence, is the Moses of this generation. And and, am I calling him a biblical figure that has communication with God? Hell no. And if you're that stupid, turn off, please cut off your phone or your listening device. I don't want you to listen to my show if you're that stupid. But the reality of the situation is LeBron James has shown these young brothers the light. You control your own destiny. Don't allow an organization to take advantage of your best years and not maximize your pay and put the best people around you to be successful. I'm with Dame Litter in one pers- uh, aspect. If I, if me, CJ Bazemore, uh, uh, the homie that broke his leg, I can't think of it, 
and, and, and Hassan Whiteside. We go out here and we bust our ass and we lose and we keep losing every year. But I see Portland going to get the Hassan Whitesides of the world, bringing the big center who was multifaceted to the world, drafting C.J. McCullough, getting Gary Trent Jr., getting Kent Bazemore, and we lose. I have no truck with losing like that. I have no problem signing an extension and staying in Portland under those circumstances. But when I'm playing for the Bulls, when I'm playing for the Knicks, when I'm playing for the Wizards, when I'm playing for uh, another one of these teams, uh, 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 that the Sacramento, well, Sacramento is doing a lot better now. But I'm playing with the Sacramento Kings. I'm playing with the Phoenix Suns. And they just drafted Manny Moe and Jack. And we losing every year. Then you know what? I'm going to have to pack. This whole narrative, oh, this team is going to go to hell because no free agents are going to come there. I said this Saturday, why don't you upgrade your facilities just like Alabama, LSU, and Clemson did? Make this a state-of-the-art state of art stadium. Make this a state-of-the-art training facilities. Get high-quality physicians and physical therapists. Get a high-quality general manager. Get a high a, 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 a high a, a basketball a, a IQ or football IQ or baseball IQ manager, manager, coach or coach, and then you will have people. You'll be able to cultivate. You'll be able to have a culture of winning, or you'll have an attitude of winning, which will breed a culture of winning, and you will have championships. If you disagree with me, I will give you chapter and verse of the San Antonio Spurs early '80s. Uh, uh, artist the A Train Gilmore was kicking ass and taking names here. In, in Chicago, the the Spurs gets Iris Gilmore. They draft Alvin Robinson in the Michael Jordan draft. They they and they put players around him. They later on get Johnny Dawkins. They become the best defensive backcourt in the league. Those got they had already had George Iceman Gervin. They contending. They couldn't beat the Lakers, but it is nothing wrong with losing to the Lakers. I can't be mad at my organization if you go get a couple Hall of Famers and a couple All Stars and y'all can't be one of the greatest teams ever assembled. I'm standing there, chapter and verse. I'm standing behind y'all. It ain't about winning and losing. Like the Portland Trail, Trail Blazers, another team. You in the seventies, you had Big Walton, the Nose Crew, and Maurice Lucas. Then you go get Kyle Drexler, Kiki Vandeway, Jim Paxton, and that crew. And then you hit the reset button, Clyde Drexler and Kersey, and, and Cliff Robinson and that crew, and Duckworth, they they have a tradition of consistently putting forth their best effort. I can't be mad at you for not winning, but when you got the Washington Wizards, and outside of a 10-year period, the Chicago Bulls, and the last 20 years, the New York Knicks, you have to look at them like, hey man, what the hell is going on? What in the hell is going on? Y'all are not doing, you do not amass uh, 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 you do not amass enough wealth to own a team worth four and a half, five, three billion dollars, and you don't know how to conduct business. You are not attempting to entertain me. You're not trying to the best of your abilities to entertain me, and I'm not trying to hear, oh man, you know things happen. Yeah, Derrick Rose got hurt. Things happen. I get it. Derrick Rose got hurt. Shit happens. I got rough buff back in the building. What you know about Cliff Robinson? Oh, yeah, rough buff, man. I, I used to love Cliff Robinson. Uh, 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 uh. What time Cliff Robinson come, man? But, you know, when you got those, when you got organizations doing it like that, the Lakers up until this last six, eight-year period, when, when Jim Buss took over, whatever. But, hey, man, I ain't trying to hear this. The Wizards been bad since Wes Unsaw left ass shit. Nah, man. I ain't trying to hear that. Because, again, I say I probably say this every single show. Somebody, anybody, explain to me how if, when I was younger, when I was in my teen years, between 13 and 19, the NBA, were, they were primarily drafting people out of physical 48 United States. Out of college, primarily, and occasionally, you would get a... a, a Page, not a page star, page star, because what's the man name? Drazen Petrovic, and, and, and the one dude with, who looked like a porn star who played for Golden State didn't have no uh, right hand. You might as well take this left hand to his, I mean, right hand to his body, uh, whatever his name was, Sharonis Asalonis. You, you get guys like that occasionally. But every team, the Wizards had Jeff Malone and Moses Malone. The doctor had, it was the doctor and Barkley, and they draft Wingate. 
and then they get Hersey Hawkins, and then the Bulls got Pippen, Jordan, and Grant, and then the Patriots.